Maybe I'm guilty of overdoing it a bit, but you can't blame a chap for trying, can you? This is the way of the world now, and I need more subscribers. Anyway, this time UK Meet the Tyrants visits a road haulage company in Leyland, Lancashire called HPH Group. You can see he's already walked onto the premises. This is a private business. He does not have permission of any sort, and he's filming. Let's jump ahead to the start of the confrontation and a polite lady member of staff. Oh, I wouldn't say no to a coffee. It's just you're not allowed to be filming. I'm not filming, I'm taking pictures. Okay, can I ask what for? Uh, oh, I can't tell you that. We, you can't be taking photos of of what? Of the DVSA staff or the ATF facilities. Why? I because won't get paid if I don't take the photographs. What is it for? I can't tell you that. Well, You've had a client confidentiality, haven't you? Yes, but you're on our site taking photos without permission. Well, I don't need permission. You're technically on our site, so. Yeah, how else am I going to get the photographs? <laughs> Why do you need to take the photographs? Because I've been appointed. To do what? Take photographs? Take pictures! How many times have yeah, I got it? Of, of what? what? What is it you're taking photographs of? Uh, I, can't, I can't be specific really. Right, so you're taking photographs of the ATF, government appointed officials, and What's you can't explain why? I can, but I'll be breaching client confidentiality. Yes, but it's illegal to take photographs without permission. It can't and, be. And we haven't given you permission. If, it, if that was true, I'd be out of a job. Well, we haven't given you permission to take photographs. Yeah, but I don't need it. Your site... It's a privately on site. Yeah, but it's publicly accessible. No, it's not. Yes, it is. The gate's open. Not without my permission. Correct. Just because the gate is open, that doesn't mean the auditor can enter site. He is in fact trespassing. So if somebody's at that gate, how are they supposed to get your permission? Why are you here? I'm answering your questions. So the yes. least you can do is answer so mine. Why are you here? If somebody stood at that gate, how are they supposed to get your permission? It doesn't work like that, the well, law. you can come in and ask. Oh, right. Instead oh. of just standing there. The fundamental problem is that she hasn't told him to leave. She needs to do that. There's nothing to be gained from a conversation with this person. Taking photographs. Well, right, you got a reception then, have you? Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, it says there. Oh, well, even more so then. You're publicly accessible if you've got a reception. No, that doesn't mean that any member of the general public has an implied permission to enter. The purpose of the reception is to receive authorised visitors and other types of visitors who the business would expect to attend. What's the reason for you taking photographs? I can't tell you that. Right, well can I ask you to leave then please? Yeah, when I'm done. I'm going. Okay, I'll get my manager. This lady has asked the auditor to leave 
and he says he is going when he is done, which I think we can take as a tacit refusal to leave when asked, as he has no right to stay and do anything. Excuse me. What do you think you're doing? This is a private site. You can't come on the site and photograph it without my permission. What right. are you doing on the site? Right. For a start, you can calm down, boy. Well, All right. I know who you are. You can you... calm down. Don't shout at me and do not raise your voice. You calm down. There's the site door. That's at least twice now this auditor has been asked to leave. He's complaining that the manager should calm down, but the manager will have been informed that a strange man is walking around the site filming. How is he supposed to react to that? How would you react? Oh, calm Leave down. It. Calm down. Bye now. Calm down. Bye. Calm down, boy. Please Don't leave be getting aggressive, pal. Please leave sight. Are you the manager? Yes, I right. am. Please leave sight. So did you get any training on de-escalation? Please leave sight. That's the de-escalation. Is it? That's the gate. Please is leave it? sight. Is it? Stood there in your... That is absolutely 100% correct. The auditor can de-escalate this incident simply by leaving the site. Now, don't get me wrong, if the auditor were a customer or client or someone else with a reason for being there, it might be a more complex matter, though even then it is still private land and if the occupier tells you to leave, you normally have to leave. This auditor, I repeat, is trespassing, and in my opinion he was trespassing the moment he entered the land, but even if I'm wrong about that, he definitely now is trespassing. Is it? That's the gate. Please Is leave sight. Is it? Stood there in your jack boots and your Please fucking tattoos. Sight. Please leave sight. Eh? You think you're a tough Please guy? Please leave sight. Look at you. I you don't like need to be anything. You're a fucking thug bouncer. Please leave Get sight. Get your fucking ass back from Please me. Please leave sight. Keep your ass back from Please me. Please leave sight. I'm going to get the manager, she said. Please leave sight and I'm the manager. fuck did you get to manage the level? Who are you speaking to? The auditor has no cause for complaint and his behaviour now meets the threshold for an aggravated trespass, which is an offence contrary to section 68 of the Criminal Justice and Public Order Act 1994. He is interfering in the running of the site, which can be regarded as disruption and he is acting in an intimidating manner. Those are ingredients of the offence under section 68, where this interference is with lawful activity. You! Off the site please! Hey, Off the site, please. Off the site, please. Can I please have you off the site? You've got no legal requirements to be on this site. You don't know you that. Do you do not need to be on this site. And you keep your nose out. Off the, the site, please. Jordan, keep your nose out. Jordan, don't. Keep my nose out. Don't. Yeah, please. I'm arguing with him, not you. Have I said anything to you? Off the site. Now. Now we have a breach of the peace. What we saw there from the staff member was not good. Potentially, he committed a common assault, contrary to section 39 of the Criminal Justice Act 1988. It was being handled by the manager, and if he wanted to get involved in this, it should have been as a physical backup and to give moral support to the manager, especially useful if physical ejection of the trespasser from the site becomes necessary. Don't be getting aggressive, Off -site, pal. I'll be ringing now. the police. Well, I'll ring the police. You're on, on somebody's site ring and you police. do not belong ring here. What, what are you doing on this site? Look at the tyranny. Get your hands off that fucking, you fucking bastard. In the eyes of the law, touching that camera was a bit risky. So here we have our first legal conundrum for you all to chew over. Has the manager committed a Section 39 offence? In other words, an offence of common assault or assault by beating contrary to section 39 of the criminal justice act 1988 to address the question we have to take a step back and remember that this is a trespass to land situation therefore it is open to the manager to use such force as is reasonably necessary to eject the trespasser such force as is reasonably necessary is commonly expressed as reasonable force so the answer to the question we're asking depends on whether the manager is using only such force as is reasonably necessary. Well, what's the answer? Is he using lawful force here or not? This in turn rests on two subsidiary questions. First, if he didn't give a warning, does that mean the force used could not have been lawful? Secondly, was knocking the camera away part of the physical force needed to eject the auditor or encourage the auditor to 
to leave the premises. Dealing with the first question, although the manager has asked the auditor to leave, he hasn't yet given any warning that he may use force, so he has that against him. However, there's no codified requirement that a warning must be given before ejecting a trespasser. The only reason the courts emphasise sometimes the importance of giving a, a warning as opposed to a request is that it helps them in deciding that the force used was lawful because if you stop and think about it, if a warning was given beforehand with full opportunity for the trespasser to safely leave the premises, then it's mu much more likely that any force that was used must have been necessary and reasonable. It's not the only factor in deciding that force was lawful, but it's an important factor that must that would be something that the, the police and the CPS and the courts would look for. But I return to the point that it isn't actually a requirement that he does give a warning, it's just that it's expected. Now, this is a matter of opinion and some people will disagree with me and certainly if this was a court case, whether a criminal prosecution of a manager under section 39 or a civil claim by the auditor for civil assault, technically known as trespass to the person, the court would not necessarily be impressed with the manager's behaviour, but I think in the end they would come down on the manager's side. I think looking at it in the round, any reasonable person would have to agree that although no warning was given before he took a swipe at the camera, the auditor was clearly being encouraged to leave sight, and although a camera is not in itself harmful, the camera forms an important factual element of the offence of aggravated trespass that has been committed here by the auditor. The manager had adopted an advancing posture on the auditor so as to encourage him to leave sight. The camera was being pointed very close to his face, and this caused him apprehension. So effectively it was part of a force being used to move the auditor off sight. You fucking bastard! Off That's sight! criminal damage, boy! Off sight! Criminal damage! Off sight! Criminal damage! Off sight! Don't you go anywhere, boy, the police will be coming That's to see you! That's not a problem! Wait for them outside! I'm waiting here now! No, you wait outside! You've just you assaulted me! No! No, you're videoing something that's actually you illegal. Just assaulted you me. You are videoing and felt caught camera recorded on the private You have site. just assaulted me. Leave the manager says that the filming is illegal. On this occasion, I agree because an aggravated trespass is being committed by the auditor, and one of the factual elements of the offence in this case is the use of a camera. I also note that the auditor still hasn't left the site. On the private you have site. just assaulted me. Leave this site. Okay. Now. I'm going to call the police. That's fine. You've just leave assaulted site. me. I've now lost count of the number of times the auditor has been told to leave the site. Right, guys, we got this fucking tattooed tire in here. He's just grabbed my camera, knocked it to the floor, damaged it. He's cracked my screen. No, I haven't. Don't yes, lie. you have. Don't camera lie. can't lie. You liar. Camera can't lie. That screen is not cracked. I think the only thing here that's cracked is UK Meet the Tyrants. Anyway, after a break of some sort, I see that UK Meet the Tyrants is still on the site, which is just unbelievable. Surely the police have, have to become involved and arrest this auditor for aggravated trespass, or at least give firm words of advice. Although it's usually dealt with by summons, aggravated trespass is nevertheless an arrestable offence. Camera lie. can't lie. You liar. Camera can't lie, you clown. Liar. Camera can't lie. No, I've, I've stopped you from videoing. You, you swung grabbed the camera my in front camera. Of me. You swung the camera. You're a in front fucking of idiot. Me. You're a fucking idiot. You just committed fucking criminal damage. And, and that better be a watch record. phone. There it is, actually. Right. Offside. I'll be now. going in for a copy of Offside. this footage. Okay. Now. Off-site now or you will be forcibly removed Really? From We're going to go down for assault as well now, are we? Now the auditor has been given due warning that he may be ejected from site. Really? From We're going to go down for assault as well now, are we? It's private site, so We're you're not go down for assault. on this site. You're actually trespassing at the moment. That's a civil matter. As usual, the auditor is wrong. It's not a civil matter anymore uh, in this case. It's now an aggravated trespass, which is criminal. This is the way I like to put it. Trespass is civil between normal people. Urban explorers, for instance, are, are liable for simple trespass, a civil matter. Somebody who accidentally stumbles onto a site where he isn't supposed to be is liable for civil trespass. But this trespass is criminal because this auditor is acting intentionally and causing disruption and distress to the site by filming and refusing to leave. Leave site. So we're going for assault Leave as site. well as criminal damage, guys. Leave site, please. I have been more than polite. Is he always this aggressive? Leave site. 
Was I aggressive at the start? Have I not He's a witness. Right, get footage of this guy. You're a witness. He grabbed my camera. No, I didn't. Did you see me grab his You'll camera? You'll be getting cited as a witness. Did you see me grab his camera, guys? Yeah, right Thank you. Working. You'll be getting cited Off as a witness. Where's the CCTV cameras? Keep your distance, man. Off site. I swear now. Well, back up. You swear now what? what? You're the Keep one that your was distance. Me. You were the one Keep that was swearing. Keep your fucking distance, you pussy. Why? What are you going to do? I'll fucking knock you on your ass. Go on then. Okay? Go on then. Threaten me more. I'll knock you on your fucking ass. Yeah, right now we can. So get your fucking pussy ass back. This is a breach of the peace, and here we also go back to section 39. The auditor is committing a common assault contrary to section 39 of the Criminal Justice Act 1988 by using threatening language. I would say the auditor is also engaged in disorderly behaviour likely to cause harassment, alarm or distress, contrary to section 5 of the Public Order Act 1986. Note that it is not necessary to prove intent under section 5, or even that anyone has suffered harassment, alarm or distress, only that the auditor has engaged in behaviour that is likely to do so. That's me. Then that's it, he's done that's for it. assault. Off site. You're already getting done for Off-site. assault. Off site. You're already getting done for Off-site, assault please. and criminal damage. Off site. Leave the fucking camera alone. I don't know how many times this auditor has been told to leave site. Let's just agree that it's a lot. What I'd like to ask those people who defend these auditors is how you justify him failing to leave site. Image. Off site. Leave the fucking camera alone. Do not carry I'll on stick recording. It down your fucking throat. And you're recording this? Yes. Aren't you, bro? Yes. Off site. Get your hands down. I'm inclined to agree that the auditor isn't very bright as he's recording himself committing various offences. Yes! Offside! Get your hands down! No. Offside! Get your hands away from Don't me! Don't touch me! That's Get your hands away from me! Offside! Yes. The manager is again correct. By touching the manager while the manager is using lawful force and when he should already be off-site, the auditor commits a further offence of assault by beating, contrary to section 39 of the Criminal Justice Act 1988. Get your hands away from me. Off-site. You're threatening me. Off-site. Keep your fucking hands up. Off-site. Keep your hands away. Off-site. Come on, boy. Off-site. Come on, boy. Yeah. Off-site. Come on, boy. Off-site. Come on, then. You want to test it out, do no, you? I'm not there. Right, right. get that fuck back, you big pussy. Off-site. Look at you with your bouncer off-site. here. Off-site. You need fucking backup. Off-site. Oh, I don't need backup with anyone. Off-site. Really? Yeah. Really? Off-site. Want me to switch your fucking off-site. camera off, you? Yeah, go on then. Big fucking tattoo. Go on then. Pussy. Go on then. Pussy. Off-site. Look at it. Get your fucking hands off my camera. Off-site. Just to clarify and explain, the auditor cannot touch the manager, but the manager can lay his hands on the auditor because the auditor is trespassing and the manager can use lawful force. Offside. You'll be getting it in the bowls next, boy. Off- There's another threat from the auditor, which again is common assault contrary to section 39. This is getting like bingo. Offside. And then you'll, you'll get done. Nice. Then you'll get done, so that's fine. Really? Offside. I'm defending my fucking space. Keep Stop away. Stop touching me. Keep away. Then back up and leave Keep side. Keep away. Back up and leave side. You back up. Don't push me. Back you up back and up. leave side. Look at this, guys. How fucking threatening is. Get the fuck away. Get away. I'm telling you. You I'm tell me what? You down. I'm, legally, I can defend my space. Off site. Then right? back up and leave site. Stay there. Keep away from me. The auditor is saying that legally he can defend his space. The auditor doesn't understand the law very well. He's trespassing and the manager can use lawful force up to and including laying his hands on the auditor so as to eject him from sight. The auditor has no right to have his own space respected when he is trespassing, especially when, as here, he he has committed an aggravated trespass. If the auditor wants the manager to respect his space, he just has to leave sight. How many times has he been asked to leave sight? Back up and leave sight. You back up. Back up and leave sight. Back up, tough guy. Back up and leave sight. Back up. Take your fucking hands away. Back up and leave sight. Keep your fucking hands away from me. (laughs) Bye now. Comedian. Bye now. You're making a company look real good. Keep your fucking hands away. Keep your fucking hands away. That's a fucking threat. Day phone please, please. Please do. There's my phone. Phone the police. It's a fucking threat. Keep your hands away from me. Get off sight. Keep your fucking hands away from me. Off sight. Move your hands. Off sight. Fuck off, tough guy. Off sight. Fuck off, tough guy. Offside. Fuck off, tough guy. Offside. Offside. Move on. You're such a f-
fucking pissing boy. What have you got to say? I'm not interested in your opinion. Get yeah, your fucking pissy right, off. Man. Back to fucking work then. Keep your fucking hands away. No. Keep your hands away. Oh. Your fucking hands away, you pussy. Fuck off. Fuck off. Get into fuck. Thank you. Fucking pussy. Fucking tattooed pussy. Look at him, guys. Whoa! <laughs> you fucking tattooed pussy! You can't argue dressed like that, you fucking pussy! And he's the boss, guys! You're my witness! Telling you now you've been cited as a witness! Fuck off! The auditor is back on site again. What the manager should really do now is have the gate closed, if that's operationally possible, and wait for the police to arrive. The police should then arrest the auditor. The manager should not engage further with the auditor, other than to deter him from sight. Off site? Fuck off. We're on the phone. Okay. That's that's fantastic. Off. That's Leave that. the fucking camera alone! Don't punch me! Leave the fucking That's camera so. alone! That's self-defence! Leave the Don't fucking camera alone! Then, because you're grabbing my camera! No, I'm not! Fuck Don't off! I'm swinging it round! Keep your arms Stop away from me! Touching me! Stop waving your fucking go arms! Away. Fuck off, you go away! Fuck off, you big pussy! I picked up there from the manager that the auditor is deliberately waving his camera around to make it look like the manager is attacking him and touching his camera and so forth. The auditor is basically just a troublemaker, but the manager needs to stop engaging with him. Fuck off, you big pussy. Keep your fucking hands off. Get your down. hands off me. Get your fuck away from me. Why? What are you going to do? Fuck off, you pussy. Fuck off. Ah, you flinched, you oh, pussy. Yeah, you awesome. flinched. You're some silly old fucking twat. Of course I did. Says you. Look at the fucking state you. Look at the state you. One reservation I have here is that some of this altercation is taking place just outside the gate to the premises. To be fair to the manager, I think it's likely that the area of hard standing just outside the entrance is still within the ownership of HPH and not on the public highway. So although the auditor is beyond the gate, any physical contact or verbal engagement between him and the, and the auditor will still fall within the ambit of lawful force. But the manager needs to be a bit more careful at this point. Now that the auditor is outside the gate, the manager should keep his distance and wait for the police. Look at this thing. Could I handle this better for the company? Off site. On the on site. Look, we own it to that. Do you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yes. I will see you in the police That's not a problem. Why on earth does the auditor want the police to attend? It's the auditor who has committed offences. Everybody knows you never go full retard. You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. If I was in the auditor's shoes, I would be well out of there. What? Man? Leave a comment for this tick guy. Get your fucking hands away, you cunt. Fuck off. Get the fuck! Go on, fuck off! Fuck off! Whoa, you tough guy! Whoa! Oh, do you lift weights? Do you lift weights? Get the fuck back to work, you pussy. Good, get off my fucking camera! Do you not Go on. strike me again! Stay away One from me! One more fucking strike of me! On then. Go on then! And I will retaliate! I'm retaliating against you, you fucking pussy. Get off my camera! Stop it. Oh, it's over here at the side, you fucking clown. Fuck off! Fucking management. Pussy. Fuck off! Get your hands off me. Fuck off! What the manager is doing is trying to block the camera. 
I don't envy the position the manager is in and I realise it's easy for me to sit here and say what people should and shouldn't do but I don't agree with what the manager is doing at this point. I think he should now keep his distance and wait for the police and if possible close the gate in the meantime. The situation is perfect for police involvement because the auditor is still stood on site. It's just that he is outside the gate. That means if the police arrive now, they will find him on site, and they will also have a number of witnesses who can confirm the auditor's behaviour, backed up by CCTV, and they can arrest the auditor and seize and interrogate his camera as part of an investigation of aggravated trespass. The HPH manager should easily be able to persuade the police that an aggravated trespass has taken place, and if he closes the gate now and this causes further disruption to site because lorries are delayed entering or egressing site, he can point the police to the auditor as the cause of the situation. All the elements for an arrest are falling into place, and it's not just aggravated trespass, we have common assault, assault by beating and section 5 public order. Dave, we'll close the gate, leave him outside. <laughs> That's a good decision from the manager. Close the gate and wait for the police. <laughs> You're a tosser. I'm not a piece of shit. You're a fucking pissy tosser. You're a bag of fucking wind. So are you. Dave, don't forget, you'll be cited as a witness. What are you saying? I've got the marks to prove you've attacked me. I've got the video footage to prove that you've been shoving the ampoule. We've also got the footage that you've been aggressive and chesting me, uh, putting no, your no, hand no, in my no, face. No. And I've got the footage of you sight. grabbing my camera. You wouldn't leave sight. I'm you are not to defend my to be on I'm this side. If the CCTV evidence is there and other video evidence, what the manager needs to do is stop engaging with the auditor and wait for the police. Permitted to be on this side. I am the law, you pussy. That is. You are the law. You are the law, really. I smell shite. The law, is it? Private land. Are you allowed on private land? Yeah, the gates are open. Oh, right. So you're allowed to just Dave, do what you want. You're being cited as a witness. Wax on, wax on. If the gate is open, that means he is allowed on the land. That's not correct. He obviously does not understand the law. Wax on, wax on. Pussy, pussy. <laughs> Back to work, you fucking pussy. Dave, you're being cited as a witness. That's perfect. So is mine. Says the man bun. Says the man bun. I look like a nonce. Fucking David Beckham wannabe. <laughs> I'm going to jump forward now. An important point to note here is that the auditor is still on site, albeit outside the gate, and he continues to film, which is an intimidating act, so the aggravated trespass is further aggravated. As this auditor does in all his videos, he's essentially just providing evidence of his own offending, and we can also see here that there is CCTV on site, so there is ample potential for an arrest, prosecution and summons for aggravated trespass. For some reason the manager and his staff don't close the gate. I'm not sure why and the auditor goes through the open gate again. This happens several more times and I'll show you the clips now. Need some men to come and protect him guys. He needs some men to come and protect him. I think he's got a thing about uniforms, this one. 
I think he's got a thing about uniforms, this one. Offside, I think he's got a thing about uniforms, this one. He looks a kinky okay. fucker. Leave sight, behind that line, do not enter this site, you're not welcome. Piss here. off, you pussy. Idiot. Oh god, he's a, he's a child, he's a fucking child. Right, I'm going to have no child, you better behave. Keep your hands away. Do not touch Keep me Keep your hands away. Keep your hands away from my camera. You've already got them. Let's get tough, fuck. You're going to call you back later, please. I'll give you call back in about 15 minutes. Thank you, so I do appreciate that. Bye. Yeah, it shows. It shows. Oh my Oh my god. What the fuck? Got no interest. Go for it. No interest in it. Go for it. I've dealt with idiots like you all my life on the doors. Oh, you're a bouncer. It was. Was, I can see why. Mm, yeah. Yeah, because it looks like you're you. not fucking tough enough for the door, you. <laughs> <laughs> I've dealt with big. Here comes the bouncer. Here comes the bouncer. Acting like a thug bouncer. Come and put me out, pussy boy. You can see here that the auditor is still well within sight, still trespassing, committing an ongoing aggravated trespass. Here he comes guys, here comes the bouncer. The auditor is now back to being well past the gate again. It's a clear and continuing aggravated trespass. Here comes the bouncer, here comes the bouncer. Don't cross the line, you've no reason or to be else on this what? Line. Or else fucking what? Well then you'll be arrested for trespassing. That's a Which civil part matter. of that do you not understand? Or Actually it's not when it's how private you, land. I see how you it's got to management. It's not when it's private land, I can is see it? how a thick Obviously, fucker like you, you got to manage the button, aren't you? It's private land, yeah. you've got no access to this land. Really? If it's public land or right. a civil building, you're yes, watching you this, guys. Uh, fucking, keep your fucking hands away from my gas. The manager hasn't got the law down quite correct, but then he's not a lawyer and he didn't ask for this situation. He's still correcting the main point. It is a criminal trespass. Uh, fucking, keep your fucking hands away from my camera. Oh, Alright. Oh, yeah. oh, you flinched again. Well, I'm not stupid. You're fucking pussy. Back yourself up. Oh. Stick. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Why don't you get back to what? Here you go. <laughs> You're right to that kid, aren't you? Keep off my fucking camera. Oh, he flinched again, guys. <laughs> Get to fuck. Get to away from my camera. What the fuck? Go for it! <laughs> Anybody <laughs> want? <laughs> oh, <laughs> idiot. Oh, you'd love to, wouldn't you? Oh, that's my poo. Fuck off. Piss it. Again, the auditor is still on site because that hard standing is part of the HPH premises. So the manager is entitled to use lawful force. But I would not handle this in the same way. I would be insisting on police attendance and demanding to know where the police are at this time. Stay off site. Fuck off. You have no authority here. Go away. What would you do? You <laughs> fucking helmet. <laughs> I'm an helmet. Oh, that's putting them up in standard. Again, I can't condone this. I appreciate this auditor keeps going on site and there's a need to deter this auditor from going on site, but they shouldn't be engaging him now. They need to wait for the police to arrive. Leave the camera, boy. What are you actually doing? I think I this clown. And you think you're not on yourself? <laughs> Seriously. Keep your fucking hands off the camera. To be fair, he's not actually touching the camera. You're still invading my space. You're invading my space, Paul. You're being threatened. You're being threatening. Go away. Go away. Look, guys. Forcing me into the road, guys. 
the HPH staff are entitled to do that with the auditor. The hard standing is their premises. Well, it's HPH's premises, and the auditor should be on the public highway. And that bit the auditor is now stood on is not the road. It is a walkway linking the pavement across the entrance to the site. <coughs> Fuck off, you pr I think it is now time to ask, where are Lancashire police? We're now 20 minutes into it, and it must be something like 10 or 15 minutes since a call was put in. A crime is in progress, and there is a breach of the peace. It's a 999 matter. They should have responded by now. See. Criminal damage. Criminal damage. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Oh, he wants some, does he? <laughs> look at this one, guys. Look at the fucking state of it. Looks like he's been picking fucking and spuds. Make sure you don't touch him because he'll have you done for it because that's exactly what he's handling for. You're too late for that, boy. It is too late now. They should not have engaged with him. Let's jump forward. It's important to now record that at some point the auditor leaves the site and starts filming the site from across the way as well as filming other locations. Right. I must have been here about ooh, 40 minutes now, guys. No sign of the police yet. The auditor is the one who has committed offences, so why he wants to wait for the police is anyone's guess. But since the police don't seem bothered anyway, I can only think he has friends in Lancashire Police. Isn't it the duty of the police in this country to keep the peace and enforce the law? Shouldn't all you defenders of auditors be talking about Freemasons in the police at this point? Why is it that UK Meet the Tyrants gets away with this? Is he a Freemason? We are not a secret society. Um, you know, we, we've got a, a big headquarters in Covent Garden. It's open to the public pretty much every day of the year. There's a library, there's a museum. We do public tours. Talk to any of my members. They'll be very happy to tell you what it is that we do. The things that are supposedly kept secret, the sort of the ceremonies, well, they're morality plays. They teach us to think on our, about ourselves, about our place in society, about people less fortunate than ourselves and how we might be able to help them. And if you want to see what they are, they're all on Google. Google, take you 10 seconds to find them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All on Google. No secret ceremonies. So you say. It's used within our lodges as a token of recognition. And again, it stems back from our history. In a time before CVs and in a time before people were literate, um, stonemasons had to prove that they'd attained a certain level of skill. And so within our lodges, this is used as a token of recognition. But it's absolutely forbidden to use it outside of our lodges. Has anybody on here met UK Meet the Tyrants and shaken his hand? Some people will have a ring with a square and compass on, shows that they're a Freemason. Um, you know, there's various sorts of iconography. We have an all-seeing eye, which people will recognise from on the American banknotes. That reminds us that we're being watched by something greater than ourselves, and that at some point at the end of our lives, we have to account for how we've behaved and what we've done during our life to something greater than us. Does UK meet the tyrants wear a Masonic ring? Come on, we want to know. We want the truth. And what's this thing about Freemasons wearing two watches, eh? I mean, honestly, who wears two watches? I wouldn't be seen dead with two watches on. I don't know where that's come from. Uh, to my knowledge, there's my watch. Freemasons don't wear two watches. Ah, I see what they're up to there. You see, what this points to is another plot. I bet they've planted the two watches idea to discredit us. These lizard controllers are very clever. He may have you lot fooled, but he isn't fooling me. Wake up, sheeple. No sign of the police yet. I found the police myself because he's damaged my camera. Right, I'm still at this site, guys. Still waiting for the police. There's a tough guy. 
The auditor is back on site now, even though he's been told he's trespassing. Of course, the law doesn't apply to Masonic satanic auditors who are well connected with Lancashire Police and the Lizard Controllers. But anyway, you never know. There may be a sergeant or inspector at Lancashire Police who is not part of the Lizard Conspiracy and sends a response car over, or even a beat bobby on a bicycle. I'm still at this site, guys. Still waiting for the police. There's a tough guy. He was showing off in front of the staff. Made the company look real good, this guy. Well, management, clueless on how to de-escalate. Admitted he's a... Nothing further happens from that point. The police don't turn up, disappointingly enough. But he stands there, the auditor stands there for at least another 15 minutes. And he's noticed by staff. Let's take a look at the Protection from Harassment Act 1997. Sections 1 and 2 say that someone who commits a course of conduct amounting to harassment is committing an offence. Section 7 subsection 3 defines a course of conduct as at least two occasions of harassment if involving one person and one occasion if involving more than one person. I would say that we have seen two occasions or events here because the auditor left site and then returned to site and he was in view of the people he had pestered, abused and assaulted previously. So the offence of harassment is formed. Now we go to the second video the auditor posted up about all this. This auditor returned to the premises on another occasion to harass them again, further reinforcing um, his offences under the Protection from Harassment Act 1997. Here we <laughs> Nothing to say today, guys! Nothing to say today! Oh my god! I'm just flying my drone up there, but the idiots in the garage think it's funny to try and knock it out of the sky. Yeah, yeah. You fucking idiot! You fucking idiot! You fucking monkey! Whoa! Whoa! Fucking hell, man! You fucking yeah. That looks like an assault by beating, contrary to Section 39 of the Criminal Justice Act 1988. This auditor is a horrible person. He had only returned to continuous course of harassing conduct and to har to harass this business further and the people at, and the staff at this business further he doesn't deserve anyone's sympathy at all and i think we can make the assumption that the attack was provoked and i think he got what he deserved my sympathy is completely with the member of staff film here and i hope he has not got into any trouble but this is where the butt has to come in it still is an offense if what appears to have happened did happen, then he has still committed a Section 39 battery. The problem with this, and this point goes back to what I said about the manager at HPH, is that these situations have to be handled in a certain way. Otherwise, you undermine your position with the police and the courts, because it makes it harder to prosecute the auditor, even if only in terms of the prosecution lacking in moral force, which is still important because it weighs into the public interest test that the CPS have to apply when making a decision of whether to prosecute. Similarly, magistrates and district judges who hear minor criminal cases like this may be more inclined to give the auditor a free pass if the complainant has also mi misbehaved, shall we say, or misbehaved, shall we say, less than perfectly. Even if the magistrate or district judge believes the case against the auditor has been proven legally, they may decide to acquit anyway on the basis that it would be unfair or, or inequitable to convict the auditor in such circumstances. You may also 
see abuse of process arguments made by the auditor's defence solicitor on the basis of the complainant's poor conduct. So suffice it to say that this sort of thing undermines the ability of the courts to deal with the auditor's behaviour. There are therefore general lessons here for the HPH staff to learn um, in how to handle such incidents. You'll see in the next clip that the gate was then shut. That should have happened in the previous incident involving the manager. Uh, police, please. Now the auditor is calling the police. Wouldn't it be typical of British police if they turn up quickly, blue lights flashing for this auditor and take his complaint seriously after completely ignoring the call on the previous occasion from HPH? In fact, as far as I'm aware, nothing happened. So let's conclude this. In summary, the manager of HPH was absolutely within his rights to use force to eject the auditor from the site on the previous occasion and I have no criticism of him in that respect. Although my sympathy here is with the manager and his staff, um, I think he did make some mistakes in dealing with this. Um, he should not have engaged with the auditor as much as he did. This auditor is a difficult person to handle and once the auditor was beyond the gate, the manager should have ordered the gate to be closed and it really should have been left to the police. If closing the gate caused disruption to site, that is further evidence for aggravated trespass. Since it was decided not to close the gate, the manager should have ordered the staff to keep their distance from the auditor if he entered site again and not engage him at all. And any further encroachments on site by the auditor would have been recorded on the CCTV anyway and form part of evidence passed to the police for the purpose of prosecution. I think if the site did dial 999, then Lancashire Police are just an absolute disgrace. They should have responded to the call and arrested the auditor for aggravated trespass. By not coming down hard on this auditor, he will just interpret that as weakness. The auditor has committed five offences. Aggravated trespass, contrary to section 68 of the Criminal Justice and Public Order Act 1994. Common Assault, contra to Section 39 of the Criminal Justice Act, 1988. Disorderly Behaviour Likely to Cause Harassment, Alarm or Distress, contra to Section 5 of the Public Order Act, 1986. Assault by Beating, contra to Section 39 of the Criminal Justice Act, 1988. Harassment, contra to Section 2 of the Protection from Harassment Act, 1997. In addition, the company HPH would have civil claims against the auditor for trespass and harassment, and the manager at HPH would have a claim for civil assault, technically known as trespass to the person. Unfortunately, and this is something I really don't want to cover, but I have to be fair and balanced about it, as we just saw, one of the staff at HPH, not the manager, manager I hasten to add, he acted entirely properly in terms of law. I'm referring, of course, to another staff member we see here. That staff member did attack the auditor and it would appear he committed an assault by beating contrary to section 39 of the Criminal Justice Act 1988. And regrettably one of the staff early on in the first video, again not the manager someone else, also committed common assault contrary to section 39.